Hello everyone, welcome to another spreadsheet video from Avanza Learning Inc. In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the formulas that you can use to summarize things like duplicates in a list of data. And the formula that we're going to learn about today is the sum product. At the outset, let me mention that this is not a tutorial video. It's simply an illustration of the sum product being used in a conditional formula. We're going to look at the sum product function and we're going to look at the count if. So first let's take a look at what the problem is and then we'll come back to uh, this screen to look at uh, a few concepts around the sum product and the count if. So uh, let's go to Excel and in Excel here I have some data on screen which uh, illustrates what we want to do. So this is um, some kind of store walk-in data and you can see that there is data for various different dates and customers who came in and bought a certain amount of products. Now you have the details here in column C and column D and you'll notice that in column B you have the name of the customer and some of these customers ha are repeat customers. So uh, customer N numbers for example uh, has come in three times. Then Mr. C carvings has come in twice. So we would like to find out what's the sale to repeat customers and what's the sale to one-time customers. So when you've got to do this, you either do it manually or you use a formula like the sum product. Now, as I said, there could be more than one formula that you can use for an occasion like this, but I like to use the sum product because the sum product is a very flexible formula and at the same time, it is extremely powerful. So we're going to have to use two formulas. One is the sum product to conditionally sum this data and the second is the count if to create the condition which says the customer's name appears more than once. The sum product has two syntax that you can use. The first of these says sum product array one, array two, and so on. Now what it does is it will multiply corresponding cells of each array and then when it's done it will total them all up. So this is the default method of using the sum product. However, if you want to use the sum product as a conditional formula, then there is another syntax that you can use. It goes sum product array one, arithmetical operator, array two, another arithmetical operator, array three, and so on. And it is this arithmetical operator which allows you to slice and dice data because you can create a slicer by using something called a logical expression or a logical test. The second function that we're going to use is the countif and the countif has a syntax like this. It's equals countif range comma criteria and it is to be read as count if in a particular range how many cells meet a certain criteria. So uh, we're going to use the countif within the sum product to determine whether a customer's name appears more than once and if the customer's name appears more than once include that customer's data in the sum product operation. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to combine these concepts together into one formula. So let's go to Excel and see what that means. So the first thing is let me use the count if here in a helper column. I'm just using it now to explain the concept. So customer entries. So how often does a customer's name appear? And I'm going to simply say equals count if in this entire range, it's range comma criteria. So in this entire range, B13 to B23, and remember I'm going to be copying this down the column. So I'm going to anchor the cell reference right now. In this entire range, how many cells meet my criteria? So what's my criteria? Right now I'm counting how many times a customer's name appears. So the customer's name itself is my criteria. So in this case, it's n numbers. So how many times does the value which is in B13 appear in that range? So let me close that and it tells me three times. And let's copy this entire column down. So here we have a whole list of threes, twos and ones. So we know that anything that is greater than one should be included in my sum product. So this only tells us one thing. It, it tells us that this entire data can be sliced into two groups. Those whose count if is more than one and those whose count if is equal to one. 
So that's all we want. Anyone whose count if is greater than one, include it in the sum product. Anything whose count if is less than one, don't include it in the formula. Now, I told you that we are going to be using a logical test in the sum product. And a logical test simply is a question or an equation which is answerable true or false. Now let's take this and convert this into a question which answers true or false. Now if we want to ask ourselves, include this data or do not include this data, we've got to convert this count if into a question. So we're simply going to say count if B13 to B23 B13 appears more than one time. So in other words, if this equation is now saying, does the count if of B13 give us a result which is more than one? So you have to read it like this. Is count if of B13 in that range greater than one? So articulate the first equal sign as an is. So when you say that and you press enter, it says true. And when we copy that down, so that in effect is actually slicing our data into those that should be included and those that should not. So anything that says true, we should include it in our calculation. Anything that says false, don't include it in the calculation. So now what we're going to do is to, to summarize this data according to this slicer, we are going to put that count if statement or this logical expression inside the sum product. So we'll start by keeping our cursor on the result cell and typing equal sum product. Open a bracket and it says array one. So we'll, we'll the first array that we're going to take is the data that we want to summarize. So that will be this one, D13 to D23 and multiplied by our logical expression. Now because we, when we do that, what it will do is it will multiply each of these cells with the corresponding value of the logical expression. But because the entire logical expression has to be entered at one time, we need to specify it inside a set of brackets. So we'll go open a bracket, count if B13 to B23. Now here we are not going to copy this data again, so we don't need to enter the dollar signs. So count if B13 to B23, comma, just as we entered here, we would say B13. However, remember that in the sum product, we wanted to go through this entire range. So we wanted to check B13, B14, B15, and so on. So here, inside the sum product, we'll enter all of them at one time. So we go back and say B13 to B23. So it will check each of the cells from B13 to B23 to see how many times it appears in B13 to B23. And if it appears greater than one time, then it will include it in the sum product. So we close that bracket, close the sum product bracket and press enter and our total is 543 from repeat customers. Now let's see how many sales we got from one-time customers. Now to do that, you can simply take the total sales minus the sales that you got from repeat customers and that will give you the sales from one-time customers. But in keeping with our video, let's, let's uh, take the example of using the sum product. So that'll give one more uh, opportunity to use the sum product function and I'm simply going to paste the formula from above and I'm only going to change the condition from greater than one to equal to one. And that will give me one time customers. When I press enter, that tells me $353 sold to one time customers, whereas $543 to uh, repeat customers. Now let's check if we are right. So here I'm going to, I'm going to do this the long method. So we have this helper column here and I'm going to say result and I'm simply going to multiply this amount multiplied by this logical test and because it's true, true is one so it will give me the value and I'll copy this down so I'll get one values or zeros and at the bottom if I take a formula 
that gives me exactly the same formula as I got with my sum product. So you can see that our sum product is working and we really don't need these helper columns anymore. We just built that to check if our formula was correct. Now, so before I end this video, let me go back into that formula and uh, run through it one more time. So this sum product formula is simply saying sum product array one, which is the amount multiplied by any cell instance where the cell appears more than one time. So the amount column multiplied by a one or a zero, depending on whether the customer name appears more than one time. And that in effect will act as a slicer and give me the sales from repeat customers only. So that's all we have time for in this brief video. Thank you for watching and I hope you found something that is useful in this that you can carry back to your work.